I'm Sue. Oh, that's my sister Sue Olette. And that's my brother Jerry Legassi. Hey, we got that straight pretty good, huh? We're good on that one. Well, we opened up with a tune called the Steamboat Two Step, and uh, we, we kind of learned that from Irv Haviland, who was a, a caller from Bristol area uh, several years ago, as a matter of fact. And that was one of his tunes that we learned from him. And also, we've been, my sister and I have been uh, playing uh, together for about like, uh, since the early 70s. So uh, we'd like to show off some of our, our, <laughs> our expertise uh, kind of uh, music for it's uh, something that we'd like to, uh, to, everybody's been asking for, you know. So now it's an opportunity to do that. Thank you to uh, Nutmeg, okay. So anyways, uh, here's one that is a good starter for the day. Uh, it's called Whiskey Before Breakfast. Now, let's see, uh, that's the name of the tune, folks. That's what they call it. And we learned that one from uh, another fiddler from Collinsville. His name was Leo Baudouin, and uh, he's not, they're not around anymore. But uh, anyways, uh, his, this is one of the tunes that I kind of liked how he played it, but I can't play it that way. <laughs> Thank you. 
how was that a good, good shot? Shot of that whiskey. It was whiskey before breakfast. Right now, of course, uh, I'm going to have uh, my sister uh, sing a song, and uh, they call it? Honky Tonk Angels. Oh. Oh. Hey, Kitty Wells made that, right? Yes, she did. And well, as certainly. popular as you too, right? <laughs> there you go. Very good. All right, so here we're going to go with that one there. <clears throat> Heart out, kitty. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, listen, didn't you sing that in one of the OM show? Yes, I did. Uh, many years ago, uh, when we first started out, uh, we uh, Sue, of course, was part of the OM. That was the Bristol Boys Club uh, older member, what the OM start, stands for. And you used to do uh, some uh, chorus group in there? Or, uh? I sang in the chorus a couple years, and then in the early 80s, uh, we did a couple of shows together. Yeah, and one of the shows that uh, we made our debut out in the OMs was uh, the uh, April Showers. Yes, it know? was April Showers. That was in 1980. That's unbelievable, isn't it, folks? My God, how time flies. That's 26 years ago. <laughs> Please. <Whew. laughs> My goodness. Oh, we had also got awards, too. Uh, they, the core, uh, the, the, not the chorus, but the, uh, the the group that uh, older acted, members of the older Bristol members, Boys Club, they presented us with this little uh, as a they call it a Mo Award, and <laughs> the opposite of <laughs> O M. So that's what it was. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Anyways, so <clears throat> we're gonna carry on here with another. There, here's a tune. It's called "Off She Goes." Why they have these names for these tunes like that? But that's all right. Maybe somebody was watching somebody going off. Especially a woman, right? Off she goes. <laughs> Off 
if I get started here. Somebody went off. <laughs> uh, maybe that was me. Anyways, now I'm going to have my sister sing us uh, another song. And I think it's uh, one done by Dolly Parton, I guess. Parton? Dolly Parton. Oh, yes, thank, Dolly you, Parton. thank you. Thank uh, you. Somebody was getting pardoned <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, there is name, people name. But anyways, and it's called? Code of Many Colors. Oh, wow. She made a big hit on that one, didn't she? She did. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, And I told them all the stories 
Mama told me while she was sewing how my coat of many colors was worth more than all their clothes. They didn't understand what kind I tried to make them see. One is only poor, only if you choose to be. Now I know we had no money, but I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors. My mama made for me, made just for me. Wow, 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 my goodness gracious. The coat of many colors. Wow, that was nice, Sue. Very nice. Thank you. Of course, well, we're going to keep going here. With, uh, we'd like to uh, also say that uh, sometimes we learn tunes and we kind of... Uh, <coughs> uh, kind of do our own thing with the tune itself, uh, like uh, this next particular one, which is called Macon County Blues. And uh, we somehow uh, got the fixing that where I lead and also pause and she plays the chords. So you can hear both instruments at the same time going at that, in this particular tune. So we call it kind of a novelty tune. So here it goes. <laughs> Feeling's all about you. Do what you want to do as it goes along. Okay, now I'm going to turn uh, to Sue again. My goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. And uh, here's another one that's done by uh, Lori Morgan. And, uh, you, and it's called? What part of no don't you understand? Oh, boy. That's a tough one. A two-letter word on that one. Okay, here we go. See if I can get this one okay. <laughs>
I'm getting through. No, I don't want your company, and I don't want to dance. So what part of no don't you understand? What part of no don't you understand? To put it plain and simple, I'm not in. No. <laughs> well, very nice, uh, Sue. That's okay. Very nice. Right now, what we'd like to do is another number, uh, for, uh, <coughs> a fiddle number. It's called Fisher's Hornpipe. Now, this one was uh, made since 19, uh, 1770, folks. How old that is? Wow, my goodness. That tune has been around quite a long time. And it was also played on the hornpipes, so this is why the hornpipes were, and the violin and fiddle were pretty popular in the late 1600s. So there you go, that's how far it went, okay? And it goes, get your fishing line ready. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> caught a fish out there. Well, folks, our session is pretty much ended here. So, uh, of course, I would like to end off with my, playing my sister's favorite tune called An Irishman's Heart to the Ladies. So, stay in tune and you all come back now. You hear? <laughs> <laughs>